Hi Cancer, welcome to your August Singles Love Tower reading. So Cancer, we're looking at singles. This could be, it could be an ex returning. It could be someone totally new coming into your life. It could be a crush, missed opportunity. Someone you know, never been romantically involved with as well. Or maybe someone new you're dating and you're just getting to know them and you want to know, you know, how it's going. All right. If you're interested in new love only, I'll be doing those a little bit later on the channel. But the singles I keep open to a little more energy. So we'll see what kind of situation you may be in here with this deck. We have the wisdom of the oracle. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck. See what's going on. But welcome in, Cancer. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary. And this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right. August, August singles for Cancer. Let's see. We have a change in the wind. And we have 12, which is 3, which is about growth and expansion. Let's see. Round in, round. 25, which is 7. Seven is our divinely guided spiritual energy. Um, can be a little challenging, frustrating, because it feels still. But the universe definitely has our back. Flexible, 1910, which is, you know, full circle, completions, new beginnings. That would reduce back to one. And the tribe, we have eight. Travel, action, communication, infinity, putting in the work. So I feel right away off the bat, because we do have this round and round. Um, it feels like an existing connection. You may be... Obviously, if you're single, you're probably on a break with this person. Maybe this is someone that keeps returning back into your life um, as well. But there looks like there's a change here. So either, you know, we're going to see where the tower is going to take us because this could go so many ways with this a change in the wind round and round, the tribe and flexible. So I feel like for some of you, you've been as flexible as you could be with somebody, but you, yet you feel like this person is part of your soul tribe. You feel that soul connection, but it's always the same thing of round and round, like the same thing every time this person comes back into your life. So it could be things are about to change, or you're deciding to make the change here um, and kind of stop this, you know, round and round energy with this person. So this could be about you, you know, finally making the change and moving on to something new, or maybe there's going to be a change in this cycle, this repeating cycle that keeps happening um, with this person. Hmm. All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. Let's see what the tarot has. And it could be both. It could be, like I said, it could be both where, you know, is this person going to make the change? If not, I'm moving on. So there could be an ultimatum here, too. All right. Cancer, let's see what's going on. We have the after tarot here. So I'm going to do the reading with this deck, see what's going on for you. Singles, what does this mean for Cancer? August to singles for Cancer. Hierophant reverse. Mm, okay. High Priestess reversed. That's not always bad. That's about, you know, Four of Cups. Yeah, very discontent energy here. Devil, a lot of fear. Negativities here. Let's see. Eight of Cups, though. That could be about somebody returning. I do see the lack of commitment here, obviously, with the Hierophant in reverse. Uh, the lack of stepping up to the plate. You know, lack of things progressing to the next level. High Priestess in reverse, though, is about, you know, being very open and honest. You know, not keeping anything secret. But a very discontent energy here with the Four of Cups. So, this could be someone's been very honest. Said, Look, you know, I'm not interested in commitment, or I'm not interested in marriage, or blah 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 yet if it's round and round here that means this is the same thing that keeps repeating where well maybe they're going to change their mind maybe they're going to change their mind so being flexible to the energy maybe this is the time where they'll change their mind and things will change but we still have the devil here which you know is not a great energy fear doubt stress anxiety negative thinking maybe a little bit of an addiction between the two of you a uh, very fiery passionate tempting and the Eight of Cups definitely can be returning. Upright, it would be someone at a distance or leaving. And when I get it in reverse, it could be a stuck energy or someone returning. 
So we do have here uh, Taurus, Pisces, Capricorn. Hmm. Let's see. Knight of Wands reverse. Not a great energy either. Six of Swords is that moving on energy. Emperor. Hmm. I have this feeling of somebody watching somebody leave. You know, here we go again. This person's leaving. But I have a feeling this time when they come back, they're going to be that Emperor Empress that I want them to be. We do have growth and expansion here. And we do have a soulmate energy here with the temperance card. Patience, healing, balance. It's usually about soul connections here. And there is love. But then we got the Ten of Swords. So, in the King of Wands, the fire, the passion. Oh, Cancer, I don't know here. Let's see. It's very back and forth. That's why I get that round and round. That's why we got the round and round. Let's see. Is something going to change? Or is this about just moving on to something new? I still feel like... I feel like every time this person may, you know, there may be a separation, leaves, definitely that's probably the situation you're in now. Obviously, you're single, you're watching this, and, you know, comes back around. Hopefully, it's going to be different, and there'll be the change. And this person will rise up to the emperor, empress I want them to be. But, I don't know, we got the five of swords here. That's not looking good. But let's see. Cancer. Let's see, what else do we need to know? For cancer. What else do we need to know about this for cancer? About this energy, please. Thank you, thank you. Oh, two of cups. <laughs> King of Wands. Ten of Swords. Queen of Cups. Page of Cups reversed. Yeah, I keep getting this energy. Okay, we come back together. It feels good. It feels nice. I feel like this could be the time things change. You know, there's still the fire, the passion, the attraction here with the King of Wands. I feel like they're stepping up to the plate, and then boom, we have that ending again with the Ten of Swords. A Queen of Cups, feeling hopeful, love, like, okay, it's going to work this time. Page of Cups, it doesn't happen. It's in reverse. Maybe time for you, Cancer, to make that change. Um, yeah, I think you've been flexible enough with this person. And if it keeps coming around and spending the same thing over and over, as much as you want that change in the wind, you may have to make the change. And maybe this is about leaning on your soul tribe, you know, your friends, your family, for support, guidance at this time as well. Let's see, we got Leo, Cancer. That's you right here with the Queen of Cups. Pisces. Yeah, Four of Swords. A lot of healing, rest, recovery every single time. And feeling that sad, lost, loneliness kind of energy. Yeah, Page of Wands. It comes the fire, the passion, and then it's gone. Watching somebody walk away. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Hmm, Nine of Wands reverse. No more struggling for your own happiness. Nine of Pentacles. It's, you may need to break free from this because I feel like you're being tied down by this with this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Even though you feel that strong connection, there's two sides of the connection here. The lovers, but the devil too. Eight of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Six of Swords. Emperor. Do you have the Emperor and the Empress here? I don't know necessarily. You know, maybe it could be you finally put your foot down in this connection if it's something you haven't done. And give this person an ultimatum. Things may change. If not, I don't know. Let's see. So what else do we need to know for cancer? What else do we need to know for cancer? What else do we need to know? So obviously you're not in any kind of committed relationship with this person. Obviously you're, you're single. So this is, but definitely feels like someone in and out of your life. And each time you feel like, because you have, strong feelings for this person in the times you are together it's intense things will change and it'll lead to something else but i it just feels like the same thing same thing over and over but let's see cancer what else do we need to know ten of cups wanting that ultimate happiness four of swords but just thinking about it queen of wands king queen of wands here so there's no doubt you know, it's hot, fiery, passionate when you're together. But then there's a lot of fear here. Things we can't see. Can't see the future. 
It's the Swords of Clarity from Source. What I'm getting right off the bat here with this Ace of Swords is Clarity from Source. Awakening Epiphany, aha moment of seeing of the fact that you can't see the future moving forward with this person because it's the same repeating cycle over and over and over and over. As much as we have hope of this leading to something more, a lot of thinking about it, about the happiness that could be, you know, kind of holding out hope for that. But in the back of your mind, I don't see a future here. I can't see it. Not with the moon. You can't see. Ace of Swords, that's the awakening here. The truth, the clarity. Yeah, so there's a block here to the uh, reciprocation that you want with this person. A lot of bread coming too in the strength here. Could be, even though you feel that strong connection, could be time to, you know, overcome. Even the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. That's not great either. Let's see, yeah. Just feeling a lot of lack here. Things not manifesting. Feeling defeated each and every time. <laughs> Have to make a decision here. And maybe, like I said, you know, again, here's the Emperor and Empress. It could be about putting a block up towards this person, finally standing your ground and giving them an ultimatum. And then see what happens. So if that's never been done, that could be something that needs to happen here. We do have Aries, Pisces. All right, what else do we need to know here for Cancer? What else do we need to know here for Cancer about this connection? This on and off, back and forth, round and round, unstable, uncommitted, I'm still single connection that is still holding hope for something, holding hope for something to change, and each time it doesn't happen. Knight of Wands, yeah, very inconsistent. Ten of Wands, being stuck with the overwhelm, you know, burden, oppression by this hermit reversed. Hmm, let's see. Six of Wands. The world. Let me just close that door. My cat decided to get up. If you don't know, uh, if you don't pay attention to the community tab, I did make a post there that my kitty, he's 13, just been diagnosed with lymphoma. So he can be a uh, little needy during the readings. I just ask for everybody's patience. He is on medication, hoping that'll work, but you know, you just never know. Anyway, he just needed to go out. So he's probably gonna come back in, so I may have to get up again. Anyway, okay, so very inconsistent, being oppressed by this whole thing. The Hermit in reverse, definitely that can be about coming out of hiding. If you always withdraw from this and like you kind of step down from it, like, okay, I'm not gonna give them the ultimatum. I'm not really gonna put that energy out there because I don't want to press them too much. You know, Six of Wands though is like, the success, success and victory that could come from you of not backing down this time and just standing up, which can maybe bring in change here. I mean, we do have the world, which could be about a new cycle or it could be the ending. It's probably going to give you the closure you need to fully see, oh yeah, okay, this is just going to be something that's going to be the same thing over and over and over. So let's see, we have Sag, Virgo, Leo, Christopher, Scorpio. Tower, slow change. Let me do have the death card. It's been a long time coming. Chariot in reverse is something not moving forward. There's a page of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Huh. Is it going to be a turnaround? I don't know. I mean, there is a strong connection. There's no doubt about that. But it's looking iffy. It's not consistent. And it's not giving me a definite answer. But we're going to see if we can get one. All right. So we have... Sag, Virgo, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. All right, Cancer. So let's see if we can get a definitive answer here. You know, standing your ground, putting up those healthy boundaries, ultimatum time. Will this bring the change in this, or is it time to move on? All right, Cancer. If it is resonating so far, Cancer, please do like, comment. Um, all the good things be greatly, greatly appreciated. Sorry it's not a more positive reading. Um... It is what it is, though. Look at that. The Nine of Pentacles reverse and the Four of Wands. Is this someone going to give up the singlehood for commitment? Hmm. Interesting. All right. So what do we need to know? What's going to happen with this for Cancer? 
is this going to turn into something more committed or is it time for cancer to move on please let's see two of swords big decision putting that like i said that block up three swords upright hmm that's kind of like five of swords which is not great energy it also could be the ace of swords but we do have it right there queen of swords yeah setting your boundary putting up that sword telling it like it is and then she, looking at the butterfly there like hoping for the transformation <laughs> let's see the sun happy outcome but the magician is in reverse which is not manifesting a new beginning yeah lack and abandonment here but we do have the soulmate still up and down energy here but i feel like um it's time it's time to set the healthy boundary tell it like it is it's going to make you feel empowered and happy that you've done it and it may lead to nowhere it may be the end magician reversed but at least you'll know and you'll have closure and you can heal from this with the sun you can heal and move on it's going to take time it's going to take time um I would say what's your new love reading, which I'll be doing uh, a little bit later, because I feel like this could be a precursor to the new love reading. So you may want to pay attention to that. I'm trying to remember what your August monthly love reading was about. Um, let me see if I can find it. Um, hmm. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, I did look it up. I don't think it's anything to do with this different but anyway yeah but we do have page of wands and you see someone kind of leaving here communication yeah sadness here anxiety but then we do have the strength here and then looking out to the future two of pentacles i feel like you're gonna have something coming better coming in in your future here with the three bonds i feel like i would need to do another whole reading yeah there's new love right here i would say watch for your new love reading coming out uh not the next series but the series after because i think after these i do no contact then i do new love and maybe you may want to watch this may lead to no contact communication so you may want to watch that one coming up too but strength is good because you will overcome this it's going to be stressful you're going to feel the sadness loss abandonment um you know page of wands usually is good news though exciting news but you know, this person may still focus on the fire and the passion. Well, yeah, if you still want to have some good times, I'm here. And then they may walk away. So, because you see someone leaving here. So, Cancer, I'm sorry it wasn't more. Pause. Here comes my kitty again. But, you know, so we have Libra, Leo, Gemini, Virgo. Five of Swords, the two and the three would be the Five of Swords, which can feel, you know, defeated kind of energy sabotage not a great energy there and we have sagittarius here too so let's see um that's him scratching his post um if you want to know what he looks like go to the community tab because i have a picture up there yeah he wants something it's gonna what's the matter okay all right we got the uh spirit of the animals here cancer so you may want more food so we're going to get pull you some of these and see that's funny i'm doing cancer and he was just diagnosed with cancer oh my God. okay anyway um let's see any everything you need to know is down below cancer my website's there everything on there that you need and in the description box all right what do we have a <laughs> cat independent funny you are a natural healer. Your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. I feel like you just kept going with the flow with this. This is about getting your independence back. You're strong. You'll overcome. Lizard regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Yeah, you're going to heal. You're going to be fine. You're going to recover. You know, let's see. Puffin, partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. Yeah, just, you know, lean on your friends, your family if you need to. 
I feel like you have a partnership coming in in the future. I don't think it's with this person. Let's get one more. Alright, this one. It's eternal protection. Yeah, it's time to protect yourself. You are master of finding life's flow. Be in harmony and flow, water sign. Be in harmony with the rhythm in your path will unfold, preserve, and you will succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. It's about taking your time, not rushing either with the sea turtle. Lion, higher calling, yeah, and strength, hair strength. We did see that with the lion. You have within you all the courage you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Talked about that too. Make noble choices for your life in your tribe. And <laughs> we got tribe right there. Wow. So, yeah. Cancer, I don't think you're going to get what you want from this person. And it's time to protect yourself. And it's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to move on from this. You will heal. You will overcome. And I feel like you're going to find somebody more worthy and better uh, for you in the future. I don't think you're going to get what you want from this person. All right, Cancer, I'm sorry it wasn't more positive, but you know, I can't help what the reading says, but that's what I have for you. So obviously it's somebody's reading, but either way, I'm wishing you the best, Cancer, and I shall see you next time.